For this talk, I'm going to discuss what's known as the Tom, Dick and Harry. And then this relates to what we call like the tarsal tunnels. And you can also add on a few extra words and we would call it Tom, Dick and very nervous Harry. If we look at this area of the lower limb and we look at it from a medial perspective, so obviously we've got the ankle and foot located here. So this is the distal tibia, which is known as the medial malleolus. And if we go posterior to that, we've got these structures around here. On this model, they're not 100% correct because it's missing part of the vein. And the vein is here, obviously it doesn't stop there. So it naturally continues all the way down through that. So if I look at the first one of the, say, the tom, so the T that relates to Tom is known as the tibialis posterior. And then that will come where there's many attachments for that one. It's mainly from the navicular tuberosity, but it's like a glove and it goes underneath the foot. Um, like the sustentaculum, it goes to the main cuneiforms yeah, and the cuboid. So it comes under like a, like a glove. And that muscle can plant our flex and invert the ankle. So that'll be Tom. So the D will be flexor digitorum longus. Okay, so if you think of the word flexor digit and long, so that naturally is going to the digits, so it's going to flex the toes. Also can be involved in plantar flexion as well. So Tom, Dick, and then Harry will be flexor hallucius longus. So that naturally goes to the hallux, which is the great toe. So it's mainly involved in flexion of the great toe. So then that will be Harry along here. But then if you think about the other letter words, okay, so Tom, Dick, and, so A, very, V, nervous, N. Okay, so we got the artery, which is the posterior tibial artery along here. So that comes around. So naturally we can feel the pulse medial to the malleolus. So that will be the A. So then we've got the V, which is the return in vein coming up. Okay, you can see the vein just here in gray. And then we've also got the nerve. So the nerve is the tibial nerve, which is part of the sciatic nerve. Okay, and sciatic nerve will come from like L4, L5, S1, 2, and 3. So then that will be part of that. The tibial nerve is a component of the sciatic. And then as it comes under the foot, it will split into the medial and lateral plantar nerve. So then that will be the main structures coming down. Okay, so you've got the tom, the dick, the artery, the vein, the nerve, and then Harry. And then I like anatomy and I like the interest behind it. So basically, these three structures, which are known as the, like the tunnels, so they call the Tom, Dick and Harry, and it's basically named like from the Great Escape, the Second World War. So <clears throat> one of the squadron leaders, um, he was known as Big X, but his name was Roger Bushell. And in, I think it's March 24th, 1944, 76 um, prisoner of war, they, were, they escaped through the tunnel of, of Harry. Um, so then that's how it was named. So the Tom, Dick, Harry are the three tunnels. Two of them were almost like a decoy. And then the tunnel of Harry is where the majority, well, the, the 76 prisoner of war actually escaped through. And then they actually built another tunnel known as George as well. So there's actually four tunnels from the Great Escape. But the main ones will be known as the Tom, Dick and Harry. So hopefully you found the talk of anatomy yeah, and then the origin of it uh, quite interesting. And thank you for watching.